guys, how are you? I've got so many compliments on my new rainbow colored and inspired box braids. And a lot of you have been asking what exactly am I doing to keep them looking beautiful and fresh without um, having flyaways or without messing up the hairline and how do I sleep at night when they're waist length so I just thought I'd do just a quick video just to kind of show you my nighttime routine and what I do so basically I got my braids done on Sunday today is Thursday so it's literally Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday it's only four days old and for me it's very important when you first have your braids done that you just let the braids just be meaning wear them straight down no pulling no tugging no updos because all that does is put added strain and stress around the hairline and I don't know about you ladies or men but I'm all about having my edges and uh, it really really messes up your hair and pulls your hair when you start pulling the braids uh, to they're already tight as it is but when you pull and add added strain to the braids by pulling them up for updos it's really really not good so for the first two weeks I usually just wear my braids just straight down before I start getting creative with different hairstyles so as you can see I kind of just woke up so excuse the um, uh, well actually you don't have to excuse anything because my melanin is popping, no pores in sight, no blemishes, no lines, no wrinkles, aging like fine wine. Okay, now back to the subject. So I basically go to sleep like this. I have a big silk scarf on and um, I also have a little bit of um, scalp oil that I use. So last night I kind of cheated. So I just wanna show you. Um, so I just basically tie my hair up and to keep this laying like this, like I mentioned. So if you look in close, you want this to stay nice and normal and flat in the direction that the braids were in. You don't want this to be pulled up because that's what messes up your hairline and it's what pulls and adds unnecessary strain and stress to your braids. Uh, actually, not really to the braids. It adds uh, strain and stress to your edges. So, um, this is pretty much just basically a long silk scarf like so and um, I kind of just I really just kind of do the hair like this <laughs> so I go like this that way the weight of the hair is not pulling in this area and the length of the hair because it's all the way to the waist it's up and then I just basically tie this around it so this is one variation of what I do Excuse me, I feel like I have to sneeze. Uh, it left. And I just use little clips like this. Clips like that. And then you just let it naturally do what it's going to do, which is fall down. Huh. Okay. And as you can see, it keeps the braid straight. There should be no bumps or dents into the braids. And the braids are all the way waist length you can't see that because of how i have the phone positioned but um yeah so there's a little bit of dent in the braid on this side but once you take it down and it uh it stays for a good hour it should uh go back to normal so basically that's what i do um that was the the four so i'll basically show you how I actually wrap it and what I do at night. So, say this is you throughout the day. You've got your hair. I'll step back so you can see that it's very, very long. So the hair is waist length. I'll step back so that you can see. See that, guys? I'll step a little closer. So, this is my hair, and this is Barack Obama, forever our POTUS, as if you didn't know. Um, so, yeah, so what I do when it's time to sleep, I uh, just get a little bit of scalp oil. This one is actually uh, given to me by a friend. I'm not going to endorse it. Actually, it's not a friend. A friend of my hubby's uh, has a 
friend who's creating products and they wanted me to test it out so once I test everything and uh, realize that it's good or can recommend it then I will come back and let you know the make the owner the creator of this product but basically you can use any scalp oil one of my favorite scalp oils is afrocentric afrocentric now I'm sounding like my baby girl their scalp oil is really really great and um, Cantu makes a really great one as well as well as Miel Organics pretty much all the major brands They all have some version of a, of a scalp oil um, You don't want to use too too much But usually what I do is you know when you first get braids your scalp is itching like crazy So you just want to get you know something and just kind of this one has a lot of eucalyptus Oil in it and it also has lavender which is very good. So you just kind of I just kind of go in like this and it's very important that you gently lift your braids and go in each little section like so and on the same side on the other side you do the same thing right in here And if you need a little bit more, you just get more. Lift up gently. Remember, this is the very fragile part of the hair, around the hairline. So you want to be very, very, don't mind all the, that is just the oil. I will be rubbing that in later. And then on my final one, I just do around the hairline like this. Right in there, right in there. Right in there. Right in there, right in there. Right All right oh, this. Because this actual oil is to promote hair growth for edges only. That's what this oil is for. It's really just for your edges. But you can use any type of oil and you can go all through the back and everything. So once I do that, guys, then I take my hand and I just take my fingertips and I gently massage. So you want to pat down. You want to look in the mirror and gently massage or pat the oil in between each braid like so so you want to start with the first layer if your braid stylist is professional and knows what they're doing like mine hey comfort each braid will be in its own little row so it makes it very easy for you to rub in your oil so you just lift up the first layer and you go in and you massage the oil all around like so <clears throat> Then you go in and you lower the second layer. See? And you go in and you massage the oil. Then you go in and you just basically continue to the next layer until you've gotten all the oil massaged through. There should be no residue. Any residue that you see, it's just the oil. Remember, my braids are only three days old, so there is no dandruff or anything like that. Any whiteness that you see is from the ingredients from the hair oil that I just put in my, my hair. So when you see it like this, you just basically rub it in. It's just the oil and the ingredients. Then you move over to this side and you do the same thing. Lift the hair slightly up. First layer down. part of the first layer and you see it's just oil 
all it is is oil. And so what this does is it, first of all, soothes the itchy scalp. It also helps to just moisturize your scalp and keep your scalp nice and oiled. You don't want dry, flaky, itchy scalp when you first get your braids. And it just prepares at night. When you put your scarf on and tie your hair down, the minerals and the oil just saturate into the scalp and it gives it a nice soothing shine and it soothes it. So sometimes with the oil that's left on the fingers, I just go to the back and just soothe the back. So now I'm ready. So now what I do, sometimes I'll put a do-rag on and I'll just push my hair back like this. I tie a do-rag and then with the access braids, once the do-rag is on, I will bring the hair around like this and I'll fold it up and then tie my big silk scarf. But I found that when I do that, because I go this way, if you can see the hair is bending in when I lift it. So at night when I sleep, this side is fine. But when I wake up, I have bent. Like this layer is bent like this. So it has this like bend, which I don't like. So now what I do, I just take the hair and I separate it. Now, once I've had the braids for a good two or three weeks, I'll be able to tilt my head forward, bring all the braids to the top of my head, tie it in a top knot, and then tie the silk scarf, which is ideally what you want. That way you can sleep any way you want because all of your hair is resting at the top. However, this is for when you first get your braids. It is not advisable to bring all the hair up to the top and have it at a top knot when they first are done because of the strain and the pulling that you will be doing all around here and in the back. Because remember, these are freshly done. I've just had the braids done basically uh, three days ago. So the last thing I want is pulling. So what I will do to preserve my edges is I will separate it into two like this and I will very, very gently take my hand and go like this. Looks like this one belongs on this side. Okay. So, very gently, just kind of go like that. If you can see, I want it very loose. So I just want it loose so I don't get that bend there. So I just let it flow loosely and I just take it to the top like this and I put a clip then I take the next side and I do the same very very loosely because I don't want any bends And I put another clip. And because the braids are long and they're a bit heavy, you probably need a few more clips just to secure it. So I take this because I want everything to stay. And I take my next one just to make sure it's all there. And as you will see, it's not uh, tight, and it's not to the, to the head. It's just to the braid. See, it's loose. It's just to hold them up. And this is to just lightly have the braids come up, because I don't want that bend right there, as I mentioned. And then from here, I just wrap it. And the idea is to make sure that the braid itself is tucked in to the silk or satin scarf, whichever you choose. So I've got this side down, so I will bring that up. 
And I will anchor it like this. And now I'm getting this side. Under here, making sure the braid is inside the satin scarf to bring it up. And it doesn't really matter if the top is hanging out because that's not the, the part that you want to secure. It's just this bit. I'm gonna play around with it a bit. Bring it over your ears, make sure all the hair is tucked in. And you can double it if you want, or you can just tie it at the top. But the, what you want to make sure is that the, the braid is inside the satin scarf, like so. to have my ears free so I can hear things. So that's how I do it. I will fix that later, but just for the video's sake, this is what we do. You can tie it underneath, you can tie it to the side, you can tie it at the top, wherever you want. I'm just gonna tie it right here just for the sake of the video, because it's already 16 minutes long. That's a long video. And voila! This is how I sleep. And the braids are nice and secure. I'll show you the back. Oh, looks like I have one. There's always one doing its own thing. You just tuck it in. All of this is where you're sleeping, so it's all secure. This is at the top, it's okay. And there we have it. Anything tucking out like this, you just lift it, push it through, and position this the way that you want. Then you can just bring this and make it a little bit tighter. Sometimes I'll take a bobby pin and just pin it so that it's nice and secure. And I'll do the same for this side. I'll tuck that in and I'll move this one up so that all the hair is in. And yeah, that's how I sleep. It's nice and soft. I can go this way, this way, or in the back, depending on which way you sleep. And then when you go to take your hair out, voila, it's finished. So, hope you guys like the video. Uh, remember, scare, uh, scare, uh, not scare, hair scalp oil, just to penetrate around your edges and in your scalp where it might be itching. Rub that in so that you have a nice smooth hairline. And then uh, tie your braids up or uh, pin them back however you feel uh, comfortable when you want to sleep. And then put a nice silk scarf on. You can also do a satin bonnet. I found that satin bonnets end up on the floor or on my pillow when I wake up, so that doesn't work for me. I tend to like to tie it down with a scarf so that it's secure. And then on top of that, I sleep with a satin pillow. So in the event that this does come out, I'm still on satin. And that will help with any flyaways. And when you wake up, your hair should be nice and smooth as if you just got your braids done. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and leave some comments and let me know what you think.